Hello YouTube. Aldvers here to again for uh, another wonderful farm. Today, well, he kind of gave it away. Guests, we're going to sit here and mess with guests. Let's talk about guests for a minute. Let's talk about all the ways they have to get guests. Your average design is going to sit here and utilize minecarts. Oh, ignore that one. I was experimenting. Uh, to push them up to a TK. Or TV, of course. Orchan had a wonderful model where he brought the TK to the guests. And that's good. But what if you want a safer option? Your tridents fall. You have to deal with gas because you can't adjust the difficulty. That's what we're here for today. So I found this wonderful little farm by Indycrafts. Where he sat here and pushed all the gas up with scaffolding on minecarts into a TK. And each minecart had one TK per four. Because he moved them over just a little bit, taking advantage of the height size. And this works really well. Especially when you sit here and you break his model down. And you apply a four-split density version to it. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm old rusty. I'm stupid. So, my AFK is on a four-chunk border here. So I have split density that way and split density that way. But I also have it that way and that way. What does that mean? No matter where any gas are going to spawn, because gas have a density cap of two within four chunks. Well, that's four chunks, and that's four chunks, and so is that, and that. So if I have eight in here, and those two, then nothing's going to spawn in here. But if I can forget one, three, and two, more are going to spawn in there. It's math and geometry. It's hard. It hurts. It's complicated. Point is, my density cap for gas in this farm is always four. Doesn't matter where they spawn. I'm going to get more gas spawning. Unless I have four between all four of these platforms. We're good. So. IndieCraft came up with this wonderful little design here. We'll go over here. Of these minecarts on top of scaffolding with activator rails going up and then he shifts them over just a little bit and it was good now his farm used observers for each one of these they would never shut off that's not going to work here I need gas to be safe I need to rethrow my tridents with no problem I need to be able to run along this stupid hopper chain because there's no water in the nether to collect all my items and oh I've had a problem with relogging but he came up with this piston down design and right here where these this piston is all of these minecarts and minecart hoppers are within place to collect everything from this one piston drop this piston pushes down pushes on those two tridents and it will kill any gas in either one of these four spots I have two hoppers here and a hopper minecart in each one of the other spaces repeat it over and over and over now let's talk about safety here if you have a gas in a minecart exactly four blocks above where the minecart rests in its head it's blind to attack you I'm in survival now the gas doesn't see me
this farm is completely gas proof. If they spawn, and they will, they're going to get shot up, and they're going to be immediately blinded by this. Follow his, follow IndieCraft's tutorial, mostly. Get rid of the droppers, extend your hopper, or your, uh, your redstone line from a comparator clock. Put pit, put repeaters in as you need to, so they stay focused. Put this little glass block here, above, four blocks above, the block you have the rail on. And you can sit here and re-throw tridents all day. Now the other great thing about this is with all these slabs and hoppers here, I put my skull catalyst right beneath, right there. There's no skulk. Skulk will never grow. It can't. It can't grow on top of bottom slabs here. It doesn't get messy. These gas are gonna die. Now his original video had five layers per side and just two sides. I expanded it a little bit. Kind of make up the difference here. Added a couple more trident killers because why not? I get. 4,300 gunpowder an hour. Let's talk about creepers versus gas for a minute. Creeper creeper farms are complicated. You have to pick the right biome for best rates. Y you have water flows, if you're lucky, at least for item delivery. That's fine. You're going to use a lot more blocks than this. I used netherward blocks because I didn't want to deal with skeletons, and it was kind of funny. But you can use any solid block. Just keep it lit. No endermen or no skeletons are going to spawn here. And these gas are just going to die. Let me show you. So let's watch what happens here for a second. It doesn't matter which floor they spawn on. They're going to get thrown up into the DK. And it makes so much. Just mute it. It's bad. It's so bad, the sound of the gas sighing. The point is, all of this is going to flow right back in here. Now, item delivery is always an issue in the nether. I use, a, a, granted, an excessive amount of hoppers. You could use, get away with minecarts, the hoppers on rails here for some of this. Get your catalysts. Put them in place. Get some tridents. Throw two on each spot there. Follow his video. It's really good. Just make it safe. Because if you're going to sit here and build a gas farm in the nether, you have to be safe. Let's talk about safety for a second. If I can remember which way I put it. Nope. Uh, old Rusty's channel. So it's full of nonsense and meandering and what is going on. And here we go. This is my friend. This is my friend who's going to die. Rusty. How do I make sure that my space is safe? So I don't have gas spawning and blowing up all my hard work. Well, that's easy. Find what your AFK is going to be. And then, build a 5x5. Five five and be patient. But when you build a 5x5, five five, put a hopper. I'm sorry. Put a rail and a minecart in the middle. And put a glass block four blocks above the base. And what you get is this. A blind ghast that you run up and you can name tag. Well. Or kill. Although it's, that's kind of missing the point. Oh. Do it once, do it twice. Density cap is two.
Well, if you have a ghast here on your four chunk border, that's full, that's full, that's full, and that's full. 4,300 gunpowder an hour. Way less effort, way more iron. And you gotta find a Soul Sun Valley with a really big lava lake. But uh, if you wanted something easier, why are you watching this channel? It's the old Rusty's god awful gas farm. It makes a lot. But you're gonna work for it. 